Hello. In this video, we will see how to install Curator Soar using software installation method, which is to use a .ron file. Soar episode number two video explains how to download a .ron file from IBM Fix Central. Let's check out the prerequisites for software installation of Soar platform. For that, you need to install a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. Version 7.4 to 7.9 is supported. Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8 is not supported yet. As we can see, the installed version for our demo system is 7.9. User account with sudo privileges. As you can see, I have a sudo user, resadmin. To check what all commands this user can execute on this Flanker 1 server, which is the hostname of the system where we are going to install Kirudar Soar, you can execute sudo -l. As we can see, resadmin user can execute all commands on this system as a sudo user. Coming to the disk space requirement, partition that host user share CO3 directory needs 5 GB and for slash crypt directory it needs 10 GB. Execute the df and h command to see the partitions and available space. As you can see, we have a 227 GB space available on slash partition. This is the partition that is going to host both the directories. IBM Security recommends that you use Logical Volume Manager, known as LVM, to manage your partitions. Also, it's better to have the following directories on separate partition, crypt, user share CO3, and varlog. Minimum RAM requirement is 16 GB and four number of CPUs. Talking about the RAM and CPU requirement, we also need to know whether we need a larger amount of RAM or more number of CPUs based on the workload that we are going to have on the Curator Soar platform. Well, there is an official sizing guidelines available based on the workload. Let's have a look at that. Curator Soar sizing guidelines have divided the workload into three categories, typical, moderate and heavy. Based on the active users and incidents per user per day, CPU, RAM, and disk amount has been outlined here for your reference. While installing the operating system, please make sure that you adhere to the sizing guidelines. Moving on, we need to install few required packages for the SOAR installer to run smoothly. For that, we are going to go to the deployment section of the guide and follow the instructions. First, we need to install the Toplogate package. Copy the command and paste it on your machine. It seems the Toplogate is already installed and latest version. Nothing to do here. Next, we need to install the EPL repository. Copy the command and paste it on the terminal. So, we have imported the GPG key for EPL repository. Next, we downloaded the package and install using rpn-iph next we need to install policy core utils python package and java packages tools you can check if a package is installed or not using the rpm-q command it says the packages are not installed copy the command and paste it on the terminal to install the packages All right, the packages got installed successfully. Next, we need to install create repo package. Copy the command and paste it on the terminal. The final package, install container slnx. You need to install this container SLNX package only if you plan to install the app host on the same system as the SOAR platform. However, this is not the case here. We are going to install app host on a separate system which we will demonstrate in an upcoming video. Having said that, if you are interested to know 
how we can have an app host on the same system as the sole platform, leave your comments in the comment section and we can make a separate video for it. If you have enabled the host firewall, then you must allow access to port numbers 443, 65000 and 65001. Having said that, you need port 65000 and 65001 if you plan to support apps. Copy the command, firewall command, and paste it in the terminal. Now we are ready to install Kirillar so. Make sure you have the installer file in the present working directory and execute the command sudo bash followed by the sore installer file name. It will take some time to install the sore platform. So I am going to fast forward the recording of installer progress to save some time on it. While this is going on, next we need to import the Kirillar sore license. I have given a link in the description about how do IBM clients or business partners request a license for IBM Security Kirida Sore? Copy your license over to the Kirida Sore and execute the command license import dash file followed by the Sore license file name. It will display a message successfully imported the license if the command is successful and display the license details as well. Now installation and license import is complete. Open up a browser and type in the hostname or IP address of Curator Soul platform and hit enter and you should get the login page. We'll discuss the initial setup regarding user creation and logging into the Curator Soul platform in the upcoming video. Thank you for watching.